I have always maintained on this platform that in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence. Everything is normally well planned, scripted and executed to achieve specific political objectives. The truth of the matter is that the Deputy President William Samai Ruto and the Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya have been holding series of meetings. And the other truth is that William Ruto and his team wanted the details about those meetings to come out publicly. And that's why they leaked those photos. And I did a comprehensive video about that meeting and how it's actually going to be a big blow to Raila Amolo Odinga. On the other side, Weekly for Paranya is still not very sure on what he really wants out of those meetings. And that's why Oparanya still claiming that the meetings took place but they were not planned. That he had a meet, uh, his own event there and that the deputy president also had his own event. But remember, William Ruto and his brigades have gone overdrive explaining to everybody who cares to listen that they've met Oparanya severally. And yesterday, the ODM party issued a statement about that particular meeting. And, that the, and that's going to be our discussion today. And why I strongly believe that the ODM party and Raila Amolodinga are making a big political mistake out of this meeting between the Deputy President William Ruto and Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya. But before we do that, if you're watching this channel for the first time, please, I want you to take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Now, let us get back to business. The truth of the matter is that as we head towards 2022, we are going to witness a lot of political realignments. And some realignments are going to shock people. Don't be surprised that even Raila Molodinga and William Samai Ruto might work together. Though personally, I strongly believe that based on President Uru Kenyatta's political interest, he's not going to allow Raila Odinga and William Ruto to work together. But we are going to expect a lot of political realignment. And William Ruto team has been saying this severally, that they've been meeting with so many people, including some cabinet ministers, to an extent that if they were to list the names of the people they've been meeting, then the country will be shocked. And of course the country will not be shocked because we expect political realignment. But why is ODM coming to the defense of Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya? Now let us go into this statement which the ODM party issued yesterday. This statement was released and it's signed by Philip Etale, the ODM Director of Communications, signed in Nairobi. It's a press statement, and the headline is very telling, setting the record straight. Why would you set a, a record straight of a meeting? Which took place? The mere fact that Oparanya was at that particular venue where these guys were meeting, that was enough evidence that Oparanya met with the deputy president. And of course, none other than the deputy president himself has confirmed this meeting. Oparanya initially claimed that this meeting was not planned, that he had his own function there, and the deputy president and his team also had their own function. Indeed, even um, Rashid Echesa, who was present at that meeting, also alleged the same. But in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence. There is no way Oparanya would find himself in the same place with the deputy president during this, this curfew. Now, let me read the statement because it's very interesting. First, I want to categorically state that the ODM deputy party leader, Honorable Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, the governor of Kakamega, is a loyal member of the party and an ardent supporter of his boss, party leader, His Excellency, Raila Amolo Odinga. Secondly, may I state here 
that yes it is true honorable paranya has held a few meetings with the deputy president his excellency honorable william samoe ruto be it in Nairobi or elsewhere and as the great mahatma gandhi once said whenever you are confronted with an opponent conquer him with love in all instances honorable oparanya has been briefing our ODM party leadership, including the party leader, on every details of his discussions with Honorable Ruto. Honorable Paranya has not been on any mission of betrayal. Betrayal is in capital letters, as some people may want it to look. Sometimes in politics, it is good to learn what your opponent is plotting and be able to get the best defense to counter them. Our ODM members and supporters should therefore not read any mischief in the said meetings that our DPT party leader has held with the DP. I've read this statement more than two times. And really, I can't really understand why ODM as a political party would go to this extent of defending Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya. Let us face the facts as they are. Fact number one is that Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya can speak for himself. Oparanya is known to be independent. He can speak for himself. Oparanya had explained clearly that he was there and the duty president was also there and that the meeting was not planned. Of course, the deputy president and his team would want it to come out clearly that they met. But why should ODM speak for Oparanya when, while Oparanya can speak for himself? The fact of the matter is that this statement, the way it is, ought to have come from the office of the governor of Kakamega. And of course, not as the governor for Kakamega. It should have come and signed by none other than Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya himself. That's the first thing. Oparanya can speak for himself. Why must Oparanya use the odium stationery? to justify a meeting he attended without informing the ODM party. The truth of the matter is that this meeting, Oparanya never informed the ODM party that he was going to meet with the duty president. I remember when I first did a video on how this meeting is going to be a blow to Raila Molodinga, most people on this platform thought that I was so fast in analyzing things. That was after Oparanya then later on came to defend the meeting. But the truth is now coming out that the fact of the matter is that Oparanya went to negotiate for himself. That's number one. Number two, the other fact is don't defend political acts. Why are ODM party defending this particular meeting? If Raila Dinga was briefed by Oparanya, or if it was a strategy to understand the way they are trying to claim, to understand the, the other side, how they are operating, so that they can launch their defense so well, then why are they writing these this statements? Why are they talking about it? Is it necessary? Because again, you don't have, in politics, once something happens, you just let it. The moment you start defending it, then that's the moment questions are being raised. So, in my considered opinion, ODM did not have to defend this political act by Oparanya. If anything, Oparanya ought to have defended this. Oparanya, as a governor of Kakamega, can even decide to use the MCS from Kakamega.
to defend him, but not the party. The other thing which I'm really asking myself is, what is ODM defending? What is really ODM defending, if you were to ask them? If today I were to place this phone call to my friend, my friend Philip Ale, who is the director of communication, and ask him, Oparanya and Rutomet, why are you defending the meeting? Why? What is the objective? Probably someone can explain to me why ODM party should defend this meeting. Why? What are what are they really defending about Ruto meeting with Oparanya? Because it's now in public domain that Oparanya has met Ruto not once, not twice, not thrice. Similarly. Whether with the permission of Raila Odinga or without the permission of Raila Odinga, why are they defending it? Because my considered opinion is that if Raila Odinga tasks Oparanya to meet with Ruto, then President Ru Kenyatta already acted by ensuring that he visited Raila Molo Dinga at his residence. So that meeting, if it's true, it took place and uh, the, the deep state is aware that Raila sent Oparanya to meet Ruto and already the, deep, the president has reacted by going to, to current residence himself and then the next day even organizing a trip with Raila Molo Dinga and even later on organizing Gideon Moi and uh, Moho to go and meet Raila Moludinga. The question is, why are they defending? What are they defending? Nothing. <laughs> Number four, the fourth fact is that, was that document, I mean, that statement really necessary? If you ask me, that statement by Odium Party was totally unnecessary. It was uncalled for. Why should ODM, as a political party, waste their time defending a meeting? A meeting which indeed took place. They have their internal mechanisms of resolving issues. If Oparanya went to that meeting with Raila Odinga's approval, then he should just give Raila Odinga the feedback. If he went to that meeting without Raila Odinga's approval or without the party's approval, then using party structures, they can convene a meeting and Oparanya can be put to task to explain why he met with the deputy president and why if he met the deputy president why his stay in uh, ODM should still be tenable instead of writing these statements they can actually just put him to task and number five what was the objective of that statement I'm not understanding probably someone can help me understand why do you think the ODM party decided in their own wisdom to issue a statement again over a meeting which took place almost a week ago? <laughs> in fact, according to these people, Oparanya stated that this meeting did not take place last week. It took place almost four weeks ago. <laughs> what was the objective? Of writing this statement again. Is it possible that ODM party would want a situation where they sustain this narrative that Oparanya and Ruto met? Or is it possible that it is Oparanya who is putting a lot of pressure on ODM as a political party to issue a statement? Because the truth of the matter is that we, we are at a very delicate situation as a country politically speaking. So any political party, be it ODA, be it Ford Kenya, be it ANC, they are very keen on their followers. If any of them is meeting, for example, if Oparanya is meeting with Ruto and Raila Odinga is pursuing his political path with President Ruto Kenyatta, you see, those meetings coming out would not be very good for Raila Molo Odinga. But again, Oparanya, as Oparanya, would also want to chart his own political path. So the question is, what was the objective of this statement? I want you guys to help me understand. Otherwise, thank you guys for taking your time to listen to me. And uh, again, for those watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. 
and to the subscribers I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support you can see um i'm on my ninth day I, and i think now i'm fine um, next week i'll go for the final test hopefully i'll be <laughs> back to normal but thank you guys and please may you have a good day but remember always to keep social distance please put your mask please please remember to put your mask all the time and please always sanitize we ignore those things personally like like in my case up to now i'm still figuring out how probably i contracted it but it's here with me there's nothing you can do just take the precautions where necessary good day